There we go. <laughs> Where, because I quote retweeted it. I'm learning Twitter, guys. I'm learning Twitter. Follow me. I think I'm I'm settling down. I'm learning Twitter. Follow me. Okay, I'm proud of my boy. I will do the original idea in commemoration of this victory, right? Rejuvenating this original idea because here's, here's what I do. All of my ideas get into all of these fucking books. And that's how they... No idea now doesn't it doesn't come into existence without being ta wrestled and tasseled with in these books so this book my favorite book it's um my art book and my soul book but the beginning of it is kind of weird this is <laughs> okay so there's a pokemon card this this pokemon card i found this pokemon card and i think it's me I think it's me. I think I was meant to find this card, so I keep it in this book. This one night, I realized all these people keep on telling me to do YouTube, so why not give it a shot? And so, if whatever I do in life, I study. I study and I make sure that I do it right the first time if I'm gonna do it, and I give it a shot, right? So, I started picking out, like, people to, um, uh, <laughs> this one's Nerd City. I really like Nerd City. If you don't know Nerd City, fucking, ugh, he, ugh, ugh, the best. Um, but I started with Drew Gooden, and I started writing, um, from a, kind of like a bird's eye view, what the fuck he's doing. Not to imitate him, but to see what he, like, why what he does works for him because i know with everyone on this list the reason why it's good and it's always good and this is really what i got down to is you get consistent support because you're consistent people like you for you and that's the same thing with comedy the the what sells the most is you so and then mike berbiglia because i i um i really like mike berbiglia so then i started writing questions and i started analyzing myself and whatever and then all these questions came for meeting gus and this is three months before meeting gus johnson and i really wanted to pick his brain but i thought he's not going to want to talk to me because I'm just some random nobody. So I have to do something for him to show him like how special he is to me. So I wanted to do something for him. So I wanted to draw something for him. So then I thought originally best buds drinking Capri Sun. So I would do Jakey, uh, Jakey, Eddie, and Gus drinking Capri Suns, fucking broing out, you know. And have it be really cute, cute or whatever. But then, oh, fucking my brain went on fire. And I'm like, holy shit, what about son of our father sipping son of Capri? Because, you know, I like to play on words. And then that idea <laughs> skyrocketed and fucking took a hold. That's what I ended up giving him. So this is actually what I ended up giving Gus when I met him. And it was it was a collaborative effort. So I did, uh, I just, um, you know, um, inked Jesus. I drew him out, I inked him, and then colored him in Photoshop. Then I got this to Jamie, and then he was able to put those texts and stuff because I can't do that. But I'm really happy with how this Capri Sun came out. I have that recorded and I really want to watch that back. So while we're uh, watching this, I wanted to explain what happened. Because uh, I wanted to have a poster for Eddie a poster for Gus, a poster for Sven, and I told Jamie, my beautiful Jamie, three 
I just needed three 11 by 17. Well, Jamie is, uh, he's a very special boy. And he gave me like a three foot poster and one 11 by 17. So, you know, I rolled with it and just gave both to Gus. Um, the colors weren't uh, the greatest. It, it, it was like too much red, I think. It was just very vibrant, so it wasn't the best. I kind of felt bad because I was giving him something that really was more for me and not so much for him. Like, it wasn't like my original idea. My original idea was having the three dudes drinking Capri Sun, but... You know, now I'm doing it, so... And it looks great so far. I'm looking at it right now. Um, I'm really happy with it so far. Gonna finish it today. I, uh, this whole Capri Sun meme, it's really, it's taken me places. I hope it takes you places. Because, uh, you know, Capri Sun, that's like the nectar of the gods, really. Any any day is a good day when you suck one of those boy, bad boys down, you know? I think so. I guess if you're wondering at all why I'm putting in so much effort into just a meet and greet, you know? Well, because I had three months to prepare for this, you know? And my mind's going nuts, like Gus Johnson, and I, I look up to this guy, you know? And my mind's going crazy with all these questions, and I'm thinking, and really, uh, my mind's kind of going wild with all these possible ideas of what could be, um, and I was really hoping that I could pick his brain. It's kind of, um, ignorant of me to assume that he would take time on me to, to do that. But I thought that maybe I could sway him <laughs> to do it if I gave him a present. But, you know, um, it, it was kind of funny. Like, once everything was said and done and I had the posters in my hand and I was ready to go out the door. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not even, I'm not going to even, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do anything. Fuck it. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to bring it. No. I'm not even going to give it to him. Jamie's like, no, you're going to give it to him. I'm like, I'm not going to ask him any questions. Who cares? Who cares? Everyone wants to be a YouTuber. I'm no one. I'm not special. This is like, who cares? You know? And I'm kind of glad that that moment happened. Because then I got off of my like fucking mission for answers and I was able to just enjoy myself at the show but there was a moment at the show where at the end he opened up for Q&A so I did whip out my book and I asked uh probably the most important question which was how do you stay how do you stay confident in your ideas when you have no feedback or an audience and um you know it's cool they they just said to you know keep doing it you know it's pretty much what i figured anyway so whatever um i get enjoyment in what i'm doing like right now as i'm doing this i am Creating content with content on my content on my content for who? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If you like it out there, if you're watching this and you like it, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> um, but I'm not making it for you. I'm making it for me. So, <laughs> uh, but if you like it, then fuck yeah, I like it too. That's cool. Meeting Gus was pretty fucking cool. Actually, like, both Eddie and Gus 
in real life look exactly the fucking same. It was so surreal to see them in real life because, like, it's just like I've seen them every day. And I just saw them. Like, it was so weird because it was just so familiar. I don't know. But um, it was funny when we got the picture. And really, I didn't care about the picture. Like, I don't, I don't give a, fu- a fuck about getting a picture with him. It's cool to have the picture. But um, uh, I just, I was more, you know, I wanted to just give him the the posters and give, because he was giving gifts as well. Like, I got a shirt and, because uh, we bought the VIP tickets, I got a shirt and he, he got this um, handwritten note. Mine said, I have one cousin who is really shitty, which was really great. I fucking love that one because I have a lot of my family who is really shitty. So I felt like I was meant to really get that one. I love it. Um, but yeah, I was I was more into me giving him my love and making it about like me showering him than... Um, the other way around, if that makes sense. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and the the picture was just a part of what the line was for, I guess. But man, I fucking got into it. I, I got, like, I, I got down and I fucking grabbed the shit out of him, dude. I was all into it. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I hugged. Gus Johnson, which was pretty cool. Um, And then I went outside and Eddie Burback was just fucking hanging outside, talking to people like a bro. What a cool guy. And I kind of interjected in the whole conversation and I was like, Eddie is the best. I told him how I knew Eddie before even knowing Gus, because uh, I've been subscribed to Eddie, like, way back when he first started, and uh, when Jamie was like, hey, you got to see this guy, Gus Johnson, showed me a video, and it's one of his sketches, and then fucking Eddie Burback is just in the fucking sketch. I'm like, what the fuck? I know this guy. I told him that he, he, he solidified the relationship. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I wanted to go to Jake's hair. Because Jake's hair is fucking rad, dude. Bam, bam, bam. Value, value, value. Bam, bam, bam. Value, value, value. That, oh, fuck. Oh, my arm. But it, Jake is my naked Jakey. He's such a good looking dude. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, dude. He uh, genetics. Hi, thanks for watching my video. This is the end. Uh I, if you enjoyed, you can subscribe. If you didn't s- subscribe, you suck or something. Whatever. Who cares?